so the Crash 4 demo's out. A few months back, we got an announcement that despite having a feeling it was coming, it was still a shock to see was a real thing. Toys for Bob, the team responsible for the Spyro Reignited trilogy, would be developing a true sequel to the original Crash trilogy to come out in only a few months' time. It's picking up right where the third game left off, not only ignoring the games that came after, but even going as far as to make a joke about it right out of the gate. It was surprising that Toys for Bob would be the ones working on the game, considering Vicarious Visions were the ones who made the Insane trilogy, but Toys for Bob already proved themselves with how good of a job they did with Spyro, so I had a feeling the game was in good hands. Well, here we are a couple months later, and now a demo has been released as a bonus for all digital pre-orders. Now, I've gotta say, this did annoy me for a couple reasons. One, I do not like purchasing games digitally unless I'm forced to, so the fact that you only get the demo with a digital pre-order and not physical really disappointed me, and also the fact that this is a pre-order bonus at all. The whole point of a demo is supposed to be to demonstrate the game, to win potential customers over by showing them just how good their game is in an effort to convince people to buy it. Instead, I guess they're assuming everyone already wants to buy it, kind of resting on Crash's laurels I guess, and basically throwing this in so that people who already know they're gonna buy it get a taste of it early. I really think this kind of thing should be available for everyone, and it's kind of upsetting that they decided to go this route, but that's not why I'm making this video, and I'd rather look at this demo for what it is. This is a short review of my experience with the Crash 4 demo. Real quick, if you like the video, consider subscribing. Like, half the views on every video come from non-subscribers, so it would really help the channel out a ton, and it's also the best way to keep up if you want to see more. That and tapping the bell icon. With that out of the way, on to the rest of the video. I think I've talked about it before, but I will come right out and say that I am not the biggest Crash fan. I've always been drawn to the series, I liked how it looked, I thought it was interesting, but the gameplay itself was always lacking in my opinion. I really haven't gotten very far in the first three games despite trying on multiple occasions. I even bought the Insane Trilogy the day it came out and tried again and still couldn't get into it. But I do recognize Crash's importance and I still wanted to support it, which I guess was a good call because the Crash revival is probably half the reason that there ended up being a Spyro revival, but I digress. The demo comes with three stages and right off the bat I can say wholeheartedly that I enjoy this so, so much more than anything Crash related that I've ever experienced prior. First off, the visuals. This game looks absolutely gorgeous, and this doesn't surprise me after playing through the Spyro remakes. There's no denying that artistically there's a lot of the same DNA in this game as there was in the Spyro remakes, and I'm all for it. As much as I loved how the Spyro remakes looked, something that was just a little disappointing was that a lot of those games' areas had sort of a warm tone to their color palette. Not everything looked the same, but I think a lot more could have been done if they deviated a little bit from that, and that's exactly what they did here. They seem to be taking some more risks and getting more comfortable with how they use color, and just from what I can see in this demo, the game is extremely vibrant and alive, and it's one of the many things that made me involuntarily smile during my short time with it. Now on to the actual gameplay. There are so many things that have been tweaked in this new entry that it completely changes how I feel about Crash. One of my biggest gripes with the original games and even the remakes was depth perception. I can't begin to tell you how many times I misjudged jumps and fell to my death because I thought I was closer to a platform than I was. Not only do the physics in this new game feel tightened up to a pretty big degree, but there's now sort of a, a reticle under Crash. I'd like to call it a shadow, but that's just not what it is. When Crash jumps, an icon is placed on the ground directly underneath him, so now it's much, much easier to figure out where you are spatially. This made every Everything way more manageable and ultimately more fun. On top of that, the game's main mechanic, the various masks that act as different power-ups, add a really fun degree of depth. Everyone who's seen the trailer has seen that one that freezes time. My biggest hope was that this power-up didn't turn into something like Mega Man 11's slowdown mechanic, where everything can be done without it and the power-up just makes everything easier. Instead, in Crash 4, the platforming challenges are completely designed around it, and it adds a whole new layer to how level design is approached. It took some getting used to, but once you get comfortable it becomes extremely fun. I like when platformers actually make me use my brain. It's much more rewarding, in my opinion, to feel like I figured something out. The other mask available in the demo gives you a power that the game is calling phase shifting. It basically manipulates the different assets on the stage, switching between which ones are active and which ones aren't. It basically just enables or disables hitboxes and collision. This leads to situations where you either need to switch the state of the stage to break a crate in time before you miss it, or to avoid an incoming hazard. In my opinion, everything about Crash's gameplay feels right, and I swear, I don't have even one complaint, and that surprises me. Now, the demo does let you play one stage as Cortex. Well, about half the stage anyway. Once you get halfway through, 
The events of that level intersect with a cutscene from the first crash level, and it switches off into a harder version of that stage. Cortex is also really fun to play as. He lacks a double jump, but his laser can turn enemies into either a static platform or a bouncy one. He also has a dash move that's used to platform in midair. He's definitely a fun addition and honestly a lot harder than the Crash portions. I can't say I like playing as him as much as Crash, but it's not too far of a deviation and I think his inclusion is a good addition. We already know there's more characters coming, but they aren't in the demo, so I can't speak on that. The three available stages do vary quite a bit, giving you a taste of 2D Crash, more open 3D areas, the bonus rooms, as well as the classic Crash runs towards the screen to get away from some big scary thing portions, which actually ended up being a lot more enjoyable than the ones found in prior games as well. They seemed like an actual fun addition as opposed to an inevitable chore. Crash Bandicoot 4 seems to be shaping up into everything I could have ever wanted in a Crash game. I think this might be the first time Crash really does it for me. As someone who has always been in this awkward spot of wanting so badly to like this series but not being able to, I'm honestly taken aback that this demo alone hooked me this quickly. It fixed literally every problem I had with the prior games, while also seeming to stay true to its roots. Maybe I'm not experienced with the franchise enough to say that, but from what I can tell, all they did was improve on the formula while taking nothing of value away, in my eyes anyway. I can say, with full confidence, I eagerly await this game's release, and I am way, way more optimistic than I've ever been. If you have the means to play this demo, please do it, and if not, just wait it out till October 2nd, and there's no doubt in my mind that this will be one of the best new platformers of recent memory. Also, if it's too hard, there's a modern mode instead of the retro mode where you don't have lives and there's checkpoints and stuff, so you do that. New video tomorrow, by the way. Bye! Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it and want to see more, there's a couple other videos right there you can check out. And if you want to see everything I upload, subscribe and then tap the bell icon. And if you want to help support the channel, I also have a Patreon right there too.